Today, Kevin and I thought it would be a fun video to do of our food or drink favorites. So I'm gonna get right into it, and I would love to hear your thoughts, of course, in the comments. I haven't seen these yet. Kevin has not seen any of them, and so honestly, this will be a I have not given any thought to them either. Um, what is your favorite drink in the summer? Do you have a favorite summertime drink? I'm not really. Just, I don't either. Just water, flavored water, and just is the same Is it your thing. favorite drink? Yeah, I mean, I like a good root beer and just a good cold. I was going to say, Pepsi you've been on a root beer kick. Cold, Coke, but I'm kind of getting sick of root beer, so I'm, I'm really wanting something else. So, I mean, really, but I don't have a summer drink, though. No, I don't have, I know a lot of people like lemonade or pink lemonade or something like Margaritas. that. Margaritas. Uh, yeah. Really, <laughs> Whatever, beer. Yeah, really, we just don't do that yeah. much here. We just, uh, yeah, I, I drink flavored water pretty much year round. Iced tea. Mm -hmm. um, what is your favorite food? No, I like a good steak. Steak and baked potato. I'm gonna say, uh, steak and baked potato sounds good. I, um, I'm gonna say peanut butter. Because I like peanut butter in desserts. You I can like eat peanut, peanut butter every day. I can eat day. every single day, and I pretty much do. So I could eat steak and potatoes every day. In some way, <laughs> I incorporate peanut butter probably almost every single day yeah. into something, whether it's a bar or some some way. Um, but it's you, you can't eat steak and baked potato. Every I could day. eat a steak and baked potato every day. <laughs> could you really? Could. And you wouldn't get tired of it? No, I'd get. Get round, but I could, <laughs> but I could not, I wouldn't get tired. Okay, what is your favorite kind of ethnic food? I don't really care. I've never really had good Indian food. Like I'm mine's only been like frozen stuff, so I don't know. Um, From your experience, my experience only just probably just Mexican food, I guess. Okay, I'm not. I thought about or saying, Italian. I'm gonna say Italian. Yeah. I'm not gonna say Mexican food because we had authentic. No, Mexican yeah. If you're food. talking about authentic, yeah, mine's more Tex-Mex. <laughs> yeah, we had authentic Mexican food. I didn't really care for it. in Las Vegas, and it was. A just, I don't think any oh, of us cared for. It. No, no one at the table. It's like, oh my gosh, this is not the Mexican we're used to. Yeah. Um, Maybe it was just the restaurant we were at, too. No, because I've seen pictures. That is authentic, that's it, yeah. That's what it is. Um, I mean, the flavors and stuff. You never know if they're going to be the real flavors. Right. But, um, but I'm going to say Italian. That's true. If you're thinking about authentic. Because pasta and red sauce and Yeah, and authentic foods, and, I would probably say Italian as well, yeah. honestly. But but if you're talking about Tex-Mex, like tacos, like Taco Bell tacos, made at home tacos, right. that kind of stuff, that would be, oh, yeah, we be love, Mexican. Yeah, yeah, we love that. Um, what is your favorite kind of pizza? Um, I like a Supreme pizza that has a little bit of everything on it. Um, I really do too. Um, my favorite would be probably one with, air. now that's not my favorite frozen because when you buy a frozen, the different. It, it's different. It yeah. gets watery. But if you order one from like a restaurant, yeah. I think I would, I love it with Peppers, uh, onions, mushrooms, black olives. Yes, a little bit of sausage, of maybe a little bit of pepperoni, bacon. I mean, it'll pretty much everything. Yes, and for a while, Kevin and I, um, back years ago, we were ordering like a meat lovers. Yeah, we yeah. we wanted the meat lovers, but now I do like a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. um, what is your favorite vegetable? Mm, vegetable. And you can, it doesn't, you can add anything to it that you want. So I know like, tomatoes technically is a fruit, so. So like you could pick a baked potato, it, you could add. Potato is a potato vegetable? Yeah, you could add bacon to it or whatever um, to make it the way you like I'm it. I'm thinking about like healthy vegetables. <laughs> oh, no, it doesn't have to be. A um, vegetable doesn't have to be healthy. No, or you can make it unhealthy. That's right. Um, by itself, I'd probably pick a potato. Okay. Um, but mixing other things, I'd probably pick, I don't know, I'd probably still pick a potato. Yeah, because you add a little butter sour cream to it. I'm going to say um, green beans. I like green beans. I really too. like green beans. Green beans are... I probably like... If you bake a potato and you put some on it, I like that better. Of However, if you just do green beans mm -hmm. with some salt and pepper, I like those probably better than a potato with salt and pepper. Right. You know, so it just depends on what you put on it. Right. The Although, base, 
The base thing though, I probably like green beans. I like peas too. I love peas. Yeah, yeah, peas are pretty good. Uh, what about what is your favorite fruit? Um, probably apples. Apples and oranges. I like either one of those. I'm gonna say it's it's a tie for me between bananas and pineapple. Apple's I really like ba bananas and pineapple. Uh, which are probably in the fruit family. They're probably the worst fruits. They're probably the Bananas worst. Bananas are bad fruit. Um, I think there's, there's, there's a lot of sugar. There's a lot of sugar. That's yeah. what I'm saying. They're both, they both have a lot of sugar. So Apples have a lot of sugar. Um, too, I'm going to say if I had to choose, to, I would say pineapple. I'm going to go for pineapple. Um, and what'd you say? Apple? Apples apple. And, apple's probably my number one. Then orange is closely under. Yeah. Below that. Um, what about your favorite meat? I think we've already established yeah, beef, this. Beef, steak. Steak. Yeah. Um, Any kind of beef. I mean, if we're just talking about meat, which one's my favorite, it would be beef is my favorite. Whether it be steak, roast. Um, pretty much I'm going to say chicken. <laughs> steak or roast. I'm going to say chicken. Chicken. Yeah, chicken's good. Chicken can be dry, though. Not when I make it. No, but I said it can be. It can be, but I just, I like, I mean, I like a steak too, but I'm not like Kevin. No, you I can eat. eat it. You can eat a steak once every six months and probably be good. Or man. a year. I was going to no. say a year. I could eat a steak once a year and I'd be fine. No. I'm just not that big of a steak. I like it. It's good, but I'm not that big of a steak person. No, no. And on. roast, I like roasting potatoes. That's another one though. Once a year, I'm good. And I'd rather have that I'm roast. I'm the same way with the roast, though. I'd rather have that same roast cut up in vegetable soup. In soup. Yeah, yeah. With all the vegetables. If I want a roast, the best roast is a pork roast. Pork roast is delicious. Yeah, it is. I'm, I'm going to make you hungry from this one. I am. I'm already hungry. <laughs> okay. I just ate. I'm already hungry. <laughs> what is your favorite salad dressing? Um, I like just uh, a honey mustard or a vinaigrette. I don't like anything real heavy. I'm gonna say blue cheese. Yeah. It used to. It's between blue cheese and Thousand Island. I like them both a lot. They're both very unhealthy. But I'm gonna say blue cheese just beats out the Thousand Island. Yeah, Italian. I used to have a zesty Italian, which I always kind of think of as a, like a vinaigrette. Um, that was one of my favorite when I was wanting a little lower calorie. Mm -hmm. That was good too. You gotta get the zesty one with the with like the really low calories. Now that's these. It would be a different question if I said the favorite the low calorie. Low calorie dressing. Because yeah. then I'm gonna have to pick that Bolt House, Bolt House Farms yeah, Ranch. That's really good. Then I'm gonna pick that for low calorie. Uh, what is your favorite flavor of Jello? So they make all kinds of flavors. They do. Cherry um, and lemon. Probably cherry is my favorite, but that's closely followed by lime. Lime. But orange. cherry. Cherry is my favorite. Um. They have strawberry. Uh, let's see. I think I would pick lime. Yeah. I really like I lime jello. That's what I thought you'd pick. Um, ice cream flavor. I know this one. Basic ice cream uh -huh. is going to be vanilla. Just regular old vanilla. Kevin's, Although I like a strawberry, yeah. but vanilla would be my pick. And I'm going to say anything with peanut butter. There are some... Yeah, that's not a base vanilla. That's not a base flavor. It says favorite ice cream flavor. Period. They don't make, well, they do make peanut butter ice cream. Yeah. Most of the time you can't buy it by itself, though. It's mixed with other things. It's usually got other stuff. Okay, so basically you want to know, would it be between Chocolate strawberry? Chocolate strawberry. <laughs> yeah. That's boring. Out of those, I'm going to pick strawberry. Yeah. I mean, um, I'd pick, if you want to pick out, like. Yeah, let's do fancy. Regular ice cream, I'd probably do, like, eggnog or uh, peppermint or um, a good, a really good cookies and cream is really good. Yeah. Uh, peanut butter, anything peanut butter, the swirls is good. That, anything peanut butter is what yeah. I'm going for. Eggnog is actually without eggnog mix Eggnog is really, Just really a base, good. base ice cream without any mix ins, probably eggnog is one of the best ones. That Talenti, that Talenti eggnog, it was, it, really it was good. Walmart brand was good. Yes, it was, yeah. yeah. Um, fa uh, flavor of jelly. So when you're a strawberry. You, Okay. It's more preserves. I don't really like the jelly. That's okay. I don't really preserves, like jelly. Preserves, jelly, jam. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to pick grape. Yeah, I don't like jelly. Jelly's too thick and rubbery. Did your mom always buy strawberry when you were growing up? No, she bought grape and stuff. Oh, okay. I just always like strawberry. So it's funny that you like strawberry. Mm -hmm. Because my mom always bought grape and I like grape. No, so mom I'm... bought, most. she bought strawberry too, but right. she also bought grape and stuff. And I would always go for the strawberry. Huh, okay. Uh, go to frozen food brand for a dinner. 
So Kevin has that lunchtime review channel where he reviews all kinds of frozen foods. Um, Benny Hanna. Oh, that brand, yeah. That, that is, is excellent. Good. Boston yeah. Market is really good. You're talking about frozen dinner like I'm making myself a frozen dinner? Yeah, you can pick anything and you're going to eat a frozen dinner for, frozen meal for yeah, dinner. Yeah, Benihana, um, Boston Market, or the um, um, Devour Meals. Any of those three Devour, are just, you do like you, you can't hardly go wrong with any of those three. Really. Uh, but you I are, mean, there's hit and miss with the rest of them. Though. But you also like uh, uh, Stouffer's. That's what I'm saying. The Stouffer's, though, you've got some really good ones and some not so good ones. Right. And, but as far as money to quality... Uh, I think those the other three are better. Okay. And I have not had any of those. <laughs> I've only had very basic meals. I've had Stouffer's. I've had like Lean Cuisine. I've had the Weight Watchers. Do they call them? Uh, smart Ones. That's what yeah, they call smart them. Ones. Smart Ones. Um, uh, you didn't name Hungry Man either. You probably wouldn't pick that. No, up. Hungry Man's not one I'd pick Okay. Either. I'm going to say Stouffer's. Is, and Stouffer's, I think Stouffer's and Lean Cuisine is the same company. I think it's both... Uh, like Nestle or something like that. So I'm going to say those. Uh, just because I don't have much experience with those. Um, go to Frozen Pizza Brand. Oh, we got the same one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Motor City. Yeah, Motor City is what we buy now. Yeah, Motor City is our day. favorite. And, in the, and boring cheese, too. <laughs> oh, but it's so good. Either one of the cheese. So the actual cheese pizza or the cheese bread. The cheese like sticks. The, the Either one of those. And good. honestly, I would avoid any that they have, have vegetables. On. Vegetables. If it has green pepper, red pepper, onion, I just wouldn't buy they it. They get watery. Uh, they do get watery. It doesn't matter what brand. Some brands are worse than others. But I would just stick with the basic either meat uh, or cheese. Yeah. The cheese are really good. Cheese are really good. Okay, favorite sit-down restaurant. So if you had to name like your top, probably I don't know. Probably Texas Roadhouse would be the place. If I were to pick one place to go. Mine like too. that's going to be mine. Yeah, because if you were to say, hey, let's go out to eat. Pick anywhere you want to. I'd probably go, okay, let's go to Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse, yeah. yeah because there's something some, for everyone. There is, and they're so good. Yes. The, the quality's always been really good there. I've never had a bad meal at Texas No, Roadhouse. and I... That, I have had bad meals pretty much everywhere else. Yes, <laughs> something always, yeah, something, there's, potential's always there. Yeah. Uh, Texas Roadhouse, though, has never let us down. Mm -hmm. No, no, really. Okay. You know, Cheddar's was was a, one of the big ones, too, though. They don't have a Cheddar's right here anymore. Well, they do, but it's on the other, other side. Other side of town. Yeah. Um, Cheddar's would be another one I would pick. I tell you what, though, I really, really like... Um, Malone's slash yeah, Harry's. Yeah, no, that one's really good too. But that's ex it's that's a spe that's a treat place because um, they're expensive. Because they're expensive, yes. But they are. It's it's a local place. I've never had a bad meal there either. No, it's a local place, and we go there with Ashley, mm -hmm. and it it's just a really it's good food. Yeah, that's good, but that wouldn't be my top pick just because it's so expensive. But Texas, still go to Texas Roadhouse right is awesome. Yeah, yeah, they're still a little expensive, but not nearly as expensive as. And you don't as, have to dress up or anything like that. Everybody yeah, in there's yeah. wearing cowboy boots and jeans, you yeah, know. So that's their their clothes. Okay. Uh, favorite fast food? If you were, I know, this is really hard. I've got two that I would probably pick regularly. It depends on what kind of food I was wanting. Mm -hmm. I would probably go to, you're talking about truly fast food. Fast food. I've got mine. You want to know? I got some, yeah, go ahead. I'm going to say Popeyes. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. It depends on what I wanted. If I want a chicken, it would probably be like Popeyes. Mm -hmm. um, but if I want a burger, it's probably going to be Wendy's. Okay. If I want like roast beef type stuff, it would be Arby's. You know, right. it just depends on what, I, what kind of mood I'm in for. But which one would the, of those would I pick to go to? Yeah. Probably Wendy's, honestly. So you rather go to Wendy's than anywhere? That's a, hey, that's I like a, Wendy's burgers and I like I like their fries. I know some people say they're, they're they don't like them, but I love their fries. See, I like Popeye's fries more. Yeah, but their chicken is good. It's just not chicken sandwiches aren't something I want to eat all the time. I'd much rather have a hamburger. And see, I, my favorite back to my favorite you meat have, have was chicken. chicken yeah. So I would rather have the chicken sandwich. Yeah, I love a good chicken sandwich. Huh? Um. You ought to try their spicy one one time. Just see if you like it. Oh, I'm going to because yeah. I've been told that it is not, it's not like Chick-fil-A. It's, it's not like Flamin' Hot. Well, no, they said that Chick-fil-A actually seasons the chicken. They said at Popeye's, it's not actually the chicken. It's only the, the sauce. sauce. Yeah. So. Um, now, they do have a Cajun version 
but and, I don't, and I'm sure but that's that is. different. Yeah. Okay. Favorite. I don't think it's fried. I think it's grilled. What would be your favorite sandwich shop? So you've got like I wrote down some examples. Oh, so you've got, like, like a Subway or something like that. Subway, Witch Witch, Earl of Sandwich, Jersey Mike's, Firehouse Subs. Um, I didn't say this during during the video, but Witch Witch and Earl of Sandwich are very similar. Um, I really did enjoy that. Kevin had reviewed Witch Witch yeah. back on his lunchtime review channel. Um, I think I would say Firehouse Subs, honestly. I'm, I'm going to say Firehouse. Yeah. And I love Earl of Sandwich. I mean, we... You know, it wasn't we, as good last time we went. It though. wasn't. I don't think they put as much on the sandwich. No, they had cut down the same price or more for less yes. is what they'd done. See, we don't have one in our area. So every time we go to... Uh, it was called Downtown Disney. Uh, the Downtown whatever that's called now. Um, we haven't been in so long cause, so we don't remember. But they have an Earl of Sandwich. So every time we go down there, go. we have to have that. And yeah, they put a lot less meat on that sandwich than they did mm -hmm. the, the times that we were there before. But see, that Witch Witch sandwich had tons of stuff on it. Right. So, so but I would pick good. Firehouse Subs. Firehouse, you can't, can't beat a good Firehouse It's awesome. Sub. And okay. they toast it. Toasting the sub is important. Yeah. Panera is pretty good. Too. I mean, not Panera. Uh, Penn Station is really good too, though. Penn Station, yeah. Penn Station is good. I've only been there one time, yeah. though, and I've been to Firehouse several times. Yeah. So, um, favorite soft drink? Uh, probably mm, mine's coke zero i'm gonna say the a and w root beer because yeah. i still like it i can drink it yeah. anytime um yeah i'll say that okay favorite ice cream brand mm. i'm gonna say um it's a tie between graders and haagen but i'm gonna say haagen mm. haagen just edges them out yeah them. i would probably say them too they have although some i really, really like flavors uh what is it peers or pierce or Pears or Pierce or something. There's a there's one. Perry's. We, Perry's. That was it. I know we go with the P. Yeah. We Perry's did, was really really good. We I think Hudsonville was really good. Hudsonville's good. Yeah. Um, Hudsonville's really good. Tillanty's good. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I would say I would say probably Hagen. Hagen does. Or Greater Greater's was also really good. Um. Favorite brand for boxed brownies. Oh, well, I have no clue. I'm gonna probably say Garadelli. Oh, yeah, I forgot about them. Yeah. Yeah, you can't beat that chocolate in those. Yeah, the Ghirardelli's awesome. They're a little bit more of a pain to make, but they but they they pay off. They're very, very good. Yeah, that's forgot about them. That is that is really good. With a steak, this is right up your alley. With a steak, what is your favorite side? I think we've already Baked established down. this. Yeah. And I'm going to say steak fries because I don't eat baked potato. But like when we go to Texas Roadhouse or something, they have awesome steak fries. And that's what I like yeah. to have with stuff. I've had all kinds of, see, Ashley would probably say green bean. I mean, mashed potatoes or something, macaroni and cheese say, or something. Yeah. But now I like uh, corn, corn on the cob yeah, too. But I'd beans. rather have, uh, I'd rather have steak fries. Yeah, I'd rather have baked potato. Favorite side with fried chicken. Uh, hash brown casserole. Hash brown casserole. Or a good broccoli casserole is also really it, good. It but is, but I like hash brown casserole. Hash brown casserole. It's That's just awesome. what we always eat with ours. Oh, it's so good with chicken. <laughs> okay, three more or four more. Uh, what sandwich do you think pairs best with chili? Um, I don't usually eat sandwiches with mine. I'm going to say peanut butter. Peanut yeah. butter sandwich with chili. I don't usually eat the sandwich with my chili. I just eat the chili. Because I ate three bowls of it. So. Certain parts <laughs> of the certain parts of the America, they have certain things that like so. Some parts eat um, cornbread with chili. Uh, I could you see know, that. Yeah, a piece of cornbread. So um, I just I we, could see cornbread in chili. That would be pretty actually pretty good. Yes. Like like you do it in your yes. You know, There's a recipe that I've been wanting to try um, that I saw, and it's somebody like a casserole. Or something it's a like casserole, that. and 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 they took chili, like chili and bake. they put it in a pan, but on top of it, before you put it in the oven, you. I think I've had something like that. In a frozen you make up dinner. your batter of cornbread and you put it all over the yeah, top I think and you I've, bake it like that. I've, I've never a, eaten it, but it looks. I've had a frozen deal meal that's like that. It looked phenomenal. Yeah, I could see that, but yeah, I, I don't. I don't eat a sandwich with mine, so I don't have a sandwich. Okay, what sandwich do you think pairs best with vegetable soup? I don't eat. Sandwiches see, some people either. would say grilled cheese. Yeah, I just don't eat sandwiches. I'm gonna say peanut butter. Yeah, I, I don't eat sandwiches with them, so I'm gonna say none. Okay, two more. Best fast food French fries. Um, your favorite fast my food. My favorite food ones yeah. are probably honestly Popeyes here lately. Um, because they're, they're, the seasoning on those is really good. Although Riley's has always been my 
favorite. As much as I like Popeyes, I love Popeyes French fries, I'm gonna say for go-to French fries, just plain with no seasoning, Culver's. The Culver's crinkle fries. Yeah, if you were just eating regular plain fries. Yes, I'm gonna yeah, say I'm gonna say Culver's. Yeah. But if I were to go pick any restaurant and just order a thing of fries, I'd go to Popeyes. And this one, I think we've already answered this honestly because of the other other answers oh, we yeah. gave. What is your favorite steak restaurant? Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse. They, yeah. They sell steaks. And in those, I guess Texas Roadhouse probably isn't in all states. I would think there are quite a few states. I would though. think so too. I mean, if, if they're clear over here from Texas. I know. If you don't have a Texas Roadhouse in your area, let us know in the comments. Is that more of like a uh, a, a southern. central southern type thing do they not have them up north do they have tons of them up north it would be interesting to see what you all have to say mm -hmm. any answers you want to give us we love reading uh, what you have to say so i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching